Could the human body be used to power technologies of the future? Scientists think that is possible. Researchers at the University of Massachusetts Amherst have found that the human body could be used to collect waste energy that could then be used to power the technology of the future. The researchers said that the human body could be used for 6G, which is the next generation of wireless communication. Hello, and welcome to Businessville. In today's video, we will look at how 6G technology will use the human body as a source of energy. But before we continue with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get more amazing content. Now, let's get this video started. While 5G is still being set up in cities and rural areas around the world, engineers are already working on 6G networks. VLC, which uses light sources to send data, is one of the promising technologies that could push 6G well past 5G. The future of 6G promises data rates up to a thousand times faster and a tenth of the latency of 5G. That's fast, don't you think? With 6G on the horizon, an even larger number of devices and sensors are expected to go online, bringing a new phase of the Internet of Things era that is anticipated to start with the current 5G. The reason why 6G will have faster communication speeds is the development of VLC, a kind of wireless fiber optic network. So what exactly is Visible Light Communication or VLC? Visible Light Communication is, at its most basic, a wireless method that uses the light emitted by LEDs to deliver networked, mobile, high-speed communication similar to Wi-Fi, leading to the term LiFi. Now that's something to be excited about. It can be used as a standalone solution or as a supplement to radio frequency or cellular network communication. The idea behind the technology is to turn LEDs on and off very quickly, within nanoseconds, at a very high frequency. As the visible light spectrum is 10,000 times larger than the radio frequency spectrum, VLC is seen as a way to make up for the limited bandwidth of radio frequency. The industry has produced very high data transmission rates, which makes it competitive. Even though the signal can't go through walls or other obstacles, a direct line of sight isn't needed as long as the light is reflected from other surfaces. The LED lights must be on for the signal to be sent, but they can be turned down to a very low level. If VLC becomes a reality, it will be better than Wi-Fi at sending data because it won't cause electromagnetic interference. How does visible light communication work? VLC works a lot like radio transmissions when it comes to sending information, except that it does this with light from LEDs instead of radio waves. Professor of Information and Computer Sciences at the University of Massachusetts Amherst Ji Chong says that in a VLC array, one LED can turn on and off a million times per second. Since LED lights are used in all of our buildings, businesses, streets, and cars, we already have the infrastructure in place to use this technology. Also, any device with a camera, like a laptop, tablet, or smartphone, can act as a receiver and make the technology work. These LEDs also leak energy in the form of side-channel radio frequency or radio waves. This energy could be used to power VLC devices. How are scientists planning to harness RF leakage? Shong and his colleagues set out to create an antenna that could pick up this energy. They made their antenna out of copper wires that were wound into coils. The antennas were then put to the test to see how much energy they could gather. The researchers found that the antenna could pick up more energy when it was connected to another item, regardless of the coil's thickness or the number of times the copper wire was twisted. Researchers put the antenna in contact with things like wood, steel, walls, tablets, phones, and even laptops to see how much energy could be harvested. The team found that the amount of energy collected went up when electronic devices were used, but the most energy was collected when the coil was in contact with a human body. In short, the future of 6G technology is amazing and will change the way we think about energy. The human body will be used as an energy source which means that we could see a world where people are far more connected than ever before. This technology is still in its early stages, but it is clear that it has the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work. We would love to hear your thoughts on this new technology in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later.